Hey guys, it's Monday on the Real DVD Watchers, and today I'm going to review The Other Guys, um, which stars Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. This is basically about police officers, they're police officers, but The Rock and Sam Jackson are like the big action hero stars, and they're the other guys working the time into the review. Honestly, I thought this movie could have been better. It just wasn't very laugh out loud funny. There was, um, I don't know, I just felt, I felt like the story was kind of not like great. And then the ending, I don't know, it just didn't really build up too much. And, and like, Mark Wahlberg's character was, he felt like he was playing two different characters in the movie. Like, at uh, one point, one, you know, one minute he's like really, really angry and the next minute he's like, Fairly nice and gentle and stuff, um, and uh, you could tell there was a lot of ad living, which ad living is fine. I get it, you know. It's nice to just come up with weird shit on the spot, but there was too much of it. They kept in the movie. Some of the stuff would have been funny, like for the outtakes. But like, okay, I was giving examples of what I thought was ad libs that was pretty obvious. There was lines like why like Mark why like Will Ferrell's Mark Wahlberg says something and then Will Ferrell was like, Wow that was that was good. He's like, Yeah, I heard an episode of Touched by an Angel And I'm like, uh, I just I don't know, I just felt like just a bit random and just and there's a bit where like they get blowed up blowed up. They get blown up and they're on the floor and then um and they're like I don't know how guys in movies do that. The movies lie, and then like in Empire Strikes Back, they lie. And, like you're like, don't even have a bad mouth, Star Wars, and I, was, and I just, I don't know. I just felt a bit like they're dragging the jokes on a bit too much. And some of the, there was a bit where, like uh, Eva Mendes is going on about how she gets out her press for Will Ferrell before he goes out, or when he comes home or something. And I was just like, really, I don't know. It just it didn't really grab me. I didn't think it was particularly funny. I mean, I, I say that, and there was funny stuff in it, but it did make me laugh at times. And I, I think Will Ferrell's a very funny person. And, and the, <laughs> the death scene of, uh, well, I won't say who, but you know who if you've seen the movie, was pretty fucking hilarious. And the music to that was great. Um, but overall, overall, I don't know, it felt like it was, there were moments that were very funny, but, some, but then other times it was just like, ugh. It's dragging out jokes too long and just, just kind of like I felt like they should say well, they felt like they weren't sure what they wanted to do with the movie, and the whole thing with Mark Wahlberg and his girlfriend wasn't really explored, and like at the beginning it was like look we're taking the piss out of big action movies isn't this great and then it's like I don't know I just felt like they could have stuck with that a bit more and had some over the top extravagant action scenes they done more stuff where it's like hey well, how did you learn to do that it's like Grand Theft Auto, you know just. Well, stuff like that I think would have been better in the movie. That's kind of what I thought it would be more. Um, but yeah, the other guys didn't... I mean, I didn't... I say... It sounds like a bad magic the film, but I didn't hate it. I did kind of enjoy it, and I'd recommend renting it, but as far as, like... I think it could have been a lot better, to be honest. So that's my review of the other guys. I'd probably give it, like, a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Peace.